You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Cara Burnett and here are today's top headlines. A man is dead after being cut over the weekend in North Baltimore. It happened just before 8 Sunday morning on West University Parkway near Overhill Road. That's in Roland Park. Police found the 77 year old man with lacerations. He died at the scene. A 59 year old man was taken into custody. According to investigators, the suspect told dispatchers he had cut someone and believes he died. A man is dead after a fire in Marriott'sville. It happened around 1.30 Sunday morning in the 4200 block of Ward's Chapel Road. A woman called 911 and said the house was filled with smoke and on fire. She was able to get out, but her 38-year-old nephew was still inside. Immediately when our first responders got on scene, they were able to enter the home. There was heavy fire conditions. They found him on the first floor. He was in cardiac arrest. Uh, he was rescued from the home, given over to EMS. They performed resuscitative efforts. Unfortunately, he was pronounced deceased at the home. The cause of that fire is also under investigation. Tuesday marks four weeks since the Key Bridge collapsed and crews are making significant progress to get more ships through the channel. They are still on track to open a limited access channel by the end of April. According to the White House, this would allow one way traffic in and out of the port for barges and some larger ships. A third temporary channel opened on Friday, putting the port at 15% of its pre collapse commercial activity. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers aims to reopen the entire channel to normal capacity by the end of May. A CEO is using her brand to shine a light on little girls everywhere. It's called Afro Unicorn and it went from t-shirts to more than 20 products that are now featured in major retail stores. One of the favorites though is the Afro Unicorn doll. The founder April Shower says even though she started small, she always knew her brand would make it big. I said in 2019 when I decided I was moving forward with Afro Unicorn that it would be a household name and it will be a worldwide brand. You can find the Afro Unicorn doll in places like Walmart and Target right next to big name toys like Marvel and Nickelodeon. And you could find the full story in her effort to create a space for other entrepreneurs to find their dreams over on our website, WMAR2news.com. Let, now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Stevie Daniels. Good afternoon, everyone. Temperatures today will be making it up well into the 60s. We have tons of sunshine, so perfect conditions on this Earth Day. Get outside and soak up all that sun. Just get outdoors in nature today. Temperatures will be ranging in the lower 70s tomorrow, a tad bit milder, still keeping those dry skies around. But as we head into Wednesday, that's where things start to switch gears a little bit. A cold front will slide through, sparking a few isolated showers as we head into the morning and also another round possible during the afternoon. But overall, rainfall totals look very minimal. Taking a glance at what we have going on later this week, temperatures will take a dip. So a noticeable difference in the temperature department from Wednesday to Thursday and Friday back into the low to mid 60s. But at least we have all that sunshine to talk about and then warming up this weekend with more clouds. Kara. All right, thanks, Stevie. Stay with WMAR2news.com for updates throughout the day and for news and weather while you're on the go. Make sure to download our app.